you know I had to. Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy JB Shoots back with another one. And as you can see, I got the all new carry comp. Yes, I got the compact model from the post I made yesterday. You saw this frame. This is my full size frame. Uh, it's a polymer frame. So uh, this is probably the frame I'll use it on. But I had to get a few shots with the compact frame and boy, oh boy, y'all know I'm a Smith & Wesson fiend, man. And, and for them to come out and do this, you know I had to get one. You know I had to get one. Of course, we slapped the SRO on there. Don't have a light on this frame at the moment. Doesn't really matter. Uh, but this thing shoots like a dream. And for the price, man, you're getting a lot out of the box with it. Uh, we are clear and empty. Nothing in the mag, nothing in the chamber. Ready to go, man. And uh, straight out of the box, factory grease or whatever she shot flawless i brought 500 rounds out here with me today and we're gonna shoot them all and um you're gonna see every single one of those shots any malfunctions you'll see it i doubt there'll be any uh but yeah man she is a beauty feels great in the hand as well this would be a great carry option um but for now it's just gonna be i'm planning on it just to be my home defense pistol um on this frame of course because uh, this is just Tan Tactical Magwell, Surefire X300, full size grip. What more could you ask for? Um, so I'm gonna get a few more shots up and um, swap out these slides because like I said, I prefer this frame. And yeah, man, uh, we're gonna have some fun out here. It's hot out here today, but we're gonna get this gun nice and toasty and make sure she's well broken in and reliable. Wow, back again, a little too excited. Forgot to go over the specs with you gotta give you the specs uh just a quick little basic rundown i think this is a 4.22 inch i don't think it's quite four and a quarter um but 4.22 inch slide and barrel of course it has the single port compensator there um nice upgraded all new slide serrations these work really well um i'm pretty sure you've seen plenty of the uh first release videos out on these and everybody raves about the slide serrations they are nice they function well and um i think they should add these to all the new mps moving on um whether it's ported or not got a nice little window here um i believe they leave, they gave you that cut to save you some money just in case some of you crazy mofos out there want to send this out to floyd's or monsoon and get a few more ports in there um i won't be doing that um, but right out of the box from the factory, you get a ported barrel. What more could you really ask for? These guns these days are getting really out of hand. I don't know how they can manage to make them any better other than upgrading the optic system, the mounting system at least. Um, you do get all new sights. This front sight is uh, tritium, I believe. Uh, nice and bright, big, easy to pick up, but you do not get a co-witness. Um, which is kind of disappointing to be honest blacked out serrated rear and uh pretty much everything else is the same as far as the slide and the, i mean not the slide but the frame goes um so yeah man um this is the performance center model so you do get a upgraded trigger which is nice uh still feels pretty gritty right out of the box um hard to feel the reset but it's there i like it it's fast and quick and you know it does the job um i shot this thing right out of the box factory lubrication no additional cleaning or oil wanted to make sure it was function as you can see it's kind of getting hung up a little bit there um but it's not causing any problems i'm sure if i threw some lube on it cleaned it up it would not be an issue um one thing i have run in to the first 200 rounds i put through it um MEP still has the problem with the chamber there. Um, I'm pretty sure they changed the design on it to where the direction of the gas blows more out, but I'm still getting a little fog on my optic. Probably more fault of the SRO than the gun itself, but um, I'm pretty sure if I swapped out to my uh, calculated kinetics dog tag plate, that would fix that issue, no problem. Uh, so yeah, man, so that's the quick specs. That's the gun, 15 round magazine on the compact frame and uh she is definitely a fun thing fun gun to shoot um i'm excited man my words are kind of everywhere but yeah man i'm gonna uh swap out these frames but there she is full size frame 
Terran Tactical Mag Wheel and Mag Extensions, Surefire X300 Turbo, and an SRO, man. And of course, that beautiful port. Man, oh man, man. This is, to me, this is the ultimate form of the NMP, man. Not the middle frame. I prefer polymer simply because of the polymer flex, A, and you have this extra bit of texture here. It just fits me perfectly, works for me. I really, I've had a, a metal frame and I didn't see too big of an advantage to having it over the polymer. Some might disagree, but yeah, man, I think this is the ultimate MP that you can have that's uh, relatively factory mildly customized. I mean, these are, you know, simple things you can add to any MP, and I think this is the ultimate form, man. So y'all let me know what y'all think. I think this thing is drop dead gorgeous and it shoots just as good as it looks. Probably a little trigger freeze there. Um, that's on me. Uh, but yeah, man, that went, uh, that dot does not leave the window. Very minimum felt recoil. And uh, this thing is a problem, man. It's gonna, it's gonna run you dry on ammo because you're not gonna be able to stop shooting it. Um, like I said, I brought 500 rounds out here with me today, and I need 500 more, man, because it's just that good. Woo. Now, I will say, I threw this dot on here, did not zero, uh, but it's relatively accurate for what I'm doing today. We'll get it nice and zeroed up another time just wanted to get some shots through it um yeah let y'all see it from the front give you a little one arm action I ain't even gonna lie to you i'm a little rusty uh haven't been able to come out here and shoot um like i had once have in the past i used to be able to come out here at least two three times a week um things have slowed down for me a little bit at work so having to adjust the budget to you know make sure my family's staying afloat and i'm not just shooting ourselves into the dirt so a little rusty dry fire can only do so much so live rounds of practice uh it's the best obviously but still, man, this thing is extremely easy to shoot. I would hand this gun to a new shooter and um, they would easily learn, in my opinion, uh, probably not the best for their fundamentals. Um, you still gotta work, work the gun, but uh, it does a lot of the work for you, especially with that port, full-size frame. I mean, what more could you really ask for, bro? <laughs> what more could you really ask for? I'm sure somebody will come up with something in the comments, but right now, I am high of MMP gun smoke and I love it. Ain't she beautiful? Ain't she beautiful? Guys and girls, I just wanted to give you a quick message here. I'm a real life dude, man. You can message me on Instagram, ask me questions just to talk. You know, more than likely I'm going to respond. I try to get back to all the comments that I get and they are greatly appreciated. Um, number one, I don't get sent anything, virtually nothing. Yes, I've gotten a holster, a red dot here and there, um, a safe review coming on the way. Um, but other than that, man, anything you see on this channel comes right out of my pocket, my hard earned money. And um, of course I pay for this gun here, pay for everything you see on it. So my reviews are as honest as they can be. Um, they come straight out of the dome, nothing scripted. So if I miss something, I miss something. Oh, well, there's other videos, other content out there for you to watch. I'm sure I'm not the only channel you get your information from. If you do, you're wrong. Um, but yeah, man, just wanted to put that out there. Hit me up on Instagram or in the comments of this video. But yeah, build drill time. Hopefully we can get some spicy times down. And of course, get our hits. to make sure I acquire this dot and put it on the target 
um because it is not zeroed so make sure we get those hits Man, that was a 1 5 0 19 split on that last one. Let's see if we got enough for a one hander. We do not. This thing, I can tell it's well broken in now. Feels a little smoother. And uh, yeah, let's try this one handed build drill. man that is extremely manageable 161 let's do that again you can definitely feel that port working <laughs> missed virtually all of those but once again man i see my dot i see where i'm missing and uh that's very impressive to me as many of y'all know i carry the mp uh compact four inch barrel and so i have 3,000 plus rounds of experience with that gun and I can definitely feel the difference this port is making uh, So let's put both hands back on the gun the way we want to shoot For some reason I'm choking up on this trigger a little bit I guess I'm maybe used to the Apex or um, the Shadow 2 Not the Shadow 2 uh, The MR9 Glock trigger might be messing me up a little bit That's why it's good really just to train on one gun um, so having to relearn this trigger a little bit. So you might get some trigger freeze from me. Uh, let's do it again, man. Um, just wanted to say, man, these Terran Tactical uh, mag extensions are very nice. I really like the way they mount up. Um, that pin there, you just slide it in. You can slide it down to take down the mag as well. I really like the way he designed these and of course the olive green color i think that looks dope uh definitely gonna order a few more of those all right let's get a good one good one good one Got my target back up. We're gonna do a few more and then I'm gonna try to think of something else. Uh, yeah, man, I'm just excited. that port is working you can see all that carbon build up around it um def i kind of want to see how long i can go without cleaning it before we start seeing any issues but um i clean my gun so you probably won't get that test out of me um this is not the channel where you will see torture tests and uh drop tests i'm not that guy i don't have that kind of money um so refer to Garantham or sage dynamics for that um, but if you want to see just some laid back shooting, laid back reviews, I am your guy for that. Uh, I love this gun. I love this setup. I need to load up some more mags. And uh, we'll see about some different drills just to switch it up a little bit. The big question most of y'all are going to ask, do I think it's worth it? Um, to give you a true answer, I would need to shoot the non-comp slide uh, back to back but uh just first-hand experience right off the bat i gotta say yes especially for the price point 750 dollars i believe what they're going for at least for the polymer compact frame um do i think the thousand dollar metal frame is worth it um no i do not honestly um i think you're better off especially if you're in a situation like me where you have a full-size frame already um i think you're better off getting the compact version of it uh but yeah, man, next video or next couple videos, we'll get the um, the non-ported 4-inch slide and compare it on, actually on the compact slide. Golly. Cut that. Next few videos from now, we'll be back out and we'll compare the non-ported to the ported. 
on the original frame um, just to give you guys a true uh, comparison but this is how I'm running mine this is it for me uh, so I wanted to get my first shots out of this setup uh, uh, yeah man so uh, switching it up a little bit we're gonna try just a little target transition double tap um, two 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 whatever I'm um, not gonna time it just shooting it trying to feel the gun out got a low one in the chamber I was getting a little trigger freeze. I really think this me. I might be over gripping the gun with this hand and kind of losing dexterity. Um, but I like having a solid grip with both hands. I don't like thinking about loosening this grip and extra uh, bite on this one. I just like to really murder down on, on both hands on the grip. Um, so I need to train myself a little more, a few more rounds to help fix that and uh, probably training on one gun, like I said. But yeah, man. Uh... Oh. Missed a few, but I'm having fun. All right, so last mag of the day, this will give us the 500 rounds. I think I owe y'all a clean billy, not a billy, a clean mag dump. So let's make sure we get all these hits, get them all on target. I'm gonna slow this footage down so you can see the recoil um, or lack thereof. And uh, just see how, just so you can see how this gun operates under rapid fire, which is really nice and smooth. Um, so yeah, man, let's get it on a timer. shots in 4.48 seconds that 40 time will get you drafted my boy um that is fast i can probably go faster with better trigger manipulation but we got a 2 4 2 1 18 19 19 17 18 16 18 18 19 19 18 20 blah 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 super fast my boy um I think those were the fastest, most consistently timed shots I've taken. Um, and I owe that to this compensator. It's definitely doing its job. As you can see, it's nice and um, got a little coating on there. It's not crazy dirty, but it's dirty. You can definitely tell it's blowing that gas straight up, doing its job. We are clear and empty, by the way. Um, but yeah, look at the barrel. Look at the, look at the soot on the end of that barrel. So you know it's working. Um, I'm interested to see how this barrel wears in over time. Um, maybe that comp might open up a little more. Who knows? I'm not a comp expert. Somebody in the comments tell me about that. But yeah, MP 2.0 carry compact. There she is on a full size polymer frame. Yeah, man, I love it to death. I think this is my favorite gun in my collection. I feel like I say that about every gun I get, uh, but definitely y'all know I love MPs. Uh, so that's really truthful to me this might be the it man this might be it uh but yeah man appreciate y'all tuning in make sure y'all like share subscribe and i'll see y'all in the next one peace